one of the topics we're looking at this week is deployment. And the notes have some really good walkthroughs of different ways to deploy your app. Um, talking about how to do it on GitHub, where you can deploy a, a static app, like an Angular app, which is just front end code. So if all you have is your components and your app and your HTML and CSS, etc., then you know deploying this on GitHub is really easy to do if you're comfortable with Git. And working with Git is beyond the scope of this course, which uh, if you're interested in Git, you should take my, <clears throat> my open source course with me. I go into real depth teaching you how to use Git to do just about everything you can do with it. But I'm not going to try and do that here. So I'll let you look through the notes on how to use Git and GitHub. And there's also an example on using Netlify, which is another service, which is really good for doing static uh, websites. I think he's got notes in here too on doing it on Heroku or Matrix, but I thought I would show you my favorite, uh, another one that uh, service that I really like. So when I have to ship React or um, Angular or Vue or any of these front end sites, a uh, tool that I really enjoy using is Vercel, and it used to be called Zeit, Z-E-I-T, and they've renamed it to Vercel. So if you've seen it uh, previously, this is what it is. And you can use it for free. So a lot of these sites have tremendous complimentary um, starter accounts, and you can do you know custom domains, you get... Um, access to like th this, it would be worth you digging into this in general. I'm not going to go into all the details of what they offer, but you know, for, for $0 a month, you can do this and you know, it's free forever, which is really nice. So when you're doing, when you're doing projects on your own and you have a little hobby thing, or you have an MVP, or you have something you want to show somebody, you can use this to put it up on a public facing URL. And critically, what you get here is you get HTTPS hosting, which is a must if you're going to do any kind of hosting for your static web apps now. You can't run these things on an HTTP host anymore. Your origin has to be secure. So this will do this for you. Um, and you can do it from GitHub. It has really good integration for doing it from GitHub. But I'm going to show you how to just do it manually with the command line tool. So you can install First of all, make yourself an account on Vercel. And I would recommend that you log in using your GitHub account. So you can make a GitHub account and then you can use it to log into all these other services. So you really only have to authenticate once with GitHub and then um, they'll do third-party authentication for you, which is really nice. So once you've done that, what you're gonna have to do is install the Vercel um, command line tool. And once you've installed that command line tool, then you can use the command line tool to set up a project. So I thought I would just walk you through and show you what it looks like. So we've been working away at this uh, Angular app, this bridge Angular app. And I'm gonna deploy one of the earlier versions of it that didn't have the REST API so that it's all kind of contained inside one thing. So I've got it, I, I have already installed Vercel, I've already run this on my machine, so I won't run it again, but you could run it on yours. And when you're done, you should be able to run Vercel like this. It should give you the, uh, run the command, you can see everything that's in here, and it shows you some of the commands that you can do. And um, so for me, I think I'm already logged in. Yes, I'm already logged in, but if you aren't logged in, you can run the login command and what they'll do is they'll send you an email and you can confirm the email. It's kind of like two-factor authentication where you'll say, um, here's the code and then I want to, it'll automatically log you in or like the authenticator apps that Seneca uses and others use. So you get yourself logged in and then what you do is you just run the Vercel, like it's ridiculously easy. So I run Vercel inside of this folder. And so it says, 
do you want to set up um, a project for, for, for this app? I'll say, yes, I do. And um, if you have multiple accounts, you could deploy it in multiple ways, but I only have one, just me. So I'm going to deploy it for me. And it says, you know, you have this project that's in GitHub. Do you want to link to it? Now, I'm not going to do any GitHub stuff right now, so I'm going to say no. But if you want to go further and you're comfortable with Git and GitHub, this is really powerful because once these projects are linked to the GitHub repo, what it means is that when you push to the repo, it'll automatically do a bunch of this stuff for you based on Git hooks. But I'm going to leave Git out of this for now. So I'm just going to say no. Uh, link to a different existing project. No. What's your project's name? I'll call it um, bridge example. Where is the code located? It's located in this directory that I'm already in. So now it's going to set up the project and it's going to start doing a bunch of the pieces that it needs to do in order for this to work. So it will take care of well, here you can see it's auto-detected that I'm doing an Angular application. So everything we're doing right here would also work with your React applications. So it's smart enough to figure out, okay, you're doing React or you're doing Angular. So it knows um, the default build command, where the directory, where, where stuff is put, all of this stuff, you, you can change it if you want. I'm just gonna leave it as it is right now. Do you wanna override any of these settings? The only thing you might wanna change is you might want to um, in your build, it's not doing a production build. Like a production build would be adding the production flag or any other flags that you want to add to this. So that's something that we could override here if you want to, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to leave it as is for the moment. So I won't do this. Now it's going to deploy it. So you can see that what's happened here is it gives me a link and I'll just open this link in my browser to show you what's going on. Uh, let me log in. Oh, shoot. One second. Okay, I just had to log in to GitHub there. So now it's taken me to this dashboard and you can see that the build for the code that, that, I, that I told it I wanted to build for this project, you can see that it shows me the build log. And uh, if there was any errors with compiling this or packaging it up, you would see them here. And then it finishes and it said everything worked. And up at the top, you can see that it gives me various domains where I can access this thing. So if I go back to my terminal, you'll also see over here in the terminal, it says, here is the app right here that has been um, created. So if I were to open this up in my browser, my app is running here. And I don't know if you, how well you can see this, but this is bridgeexample.vercel.app. So it gives me a not a bad little um, domain. If I wanted to do a custom domain, I could. Like I could go and buy a domain and then attach, let Vercel manage that at the DNS level and then attach it to this. And you can see that it's also done some nice things here. Like so, for example, it says if you ever want to deploy this to production, run Vercel dash dash prod. Um, so we could do that, Vercel dash dash prod, and it'll rerun and redeploy this. And here, so I can go back and refresh this. And, and the, the production version of this has been deployed. So it has a lot of nice built-in stuff for um, Angular, like it, it's aware of Angular and React and all of these front end frameworks to make this really easy to do. So if you modify your code now, anytime that you want to update it, you just say Vercel and it will re redeploy the code. And every time it gives you another, like if, if I open up this URL here, you'll see it's building my code and you can watch it build, like you can see that the build is happening right now and it'll just keep working here. And when it's done, 
it will tell you it's finished. You'll see it'll tell me in both places. So the build happens. Um, the build's going to happen here and here. You see it, it tells me it's here, but it also like up here it is um, keeping it updated in both places. And these builds, you can go back in time and you can see any of them. So you see that I have two URLs. So like there's a URL for this particular build. So if I ever wanted to go back in time and I wanted to see a build, you know, for a specific way that the code looked, I can go and get it. Like it keeps all of those builds around, which is incredible. This gets like right now it's not attached to Git which is either a feature or a bug, depending on whether you're comfortable working with Git or not. For me, if I was gonna do this, I would do it all in Git and GitHub, and I would just be pushing commits, similar to what you're doing when you work with Heroku, and you're pushing things up to Heroku and it automatically builds. But when you're using, um, when you're using Vercel or Netlify or any of these things, it's just for working with front-end code, like an Angular app or a React app and being able to uh, work with it. So the only other thing I'll just mention to you is that it has created this Vercel directory. So um, inside that there's a readme and it just explains what this is and the project.json has a an ID number that links this. So that's how Vercel knows you have a project that's been created in your dashboard and this so this bridge example project here, um, all of the different deployments of this, like this has a number in their system. And so that's how it gets connected here when you're, when you're looking at this. So I wanted to mention this, when you're looking through the notes and you're seeing all these different ways of deploying, I would try all of them. I would learn to do every single one of them. They're all free and it's great when you're, uh, it's great to have options. When you're deploying these things and you need to quickly show a client or you need to quickly show your boss or your teammates something, you need to get something off of your laptop and up onto a public, public IP address that people can see and they can test. There's nothing like saying to people, here, try this app that I'm working on right now, see what you think, help me test it, or give me some feedback on it and just put it up rather than sending screenshots or something like that. So this is, this is the way to go. So I would recommend looking at Vercel, and if you're if you're not super comfortable with Git, I would just install the, the command line and I would do everything using the Vercel, Vercel command and um, you, can, you can do exactly the kind of things that uh, I just showed you here for being able to deploy this. So really powerful and the price, uh, the price is right. Zero dollars a month, amazing.